Arkansas Radio. This is Ruskin and Zach. Hey, real quick, let me remind you, uh, we are in a, another United Way a text-a-thon today. So if you want to help out, make your donation. Text COVID-19NWA to 71777 today and tomorrow. The United Way uh, text-a-thon that we'll be telling you about here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. All right, uh, we're proud to be a part of that. Let's uh, go to the Williams Tractor Hotline right now, and we will uh, visit with the new head coach of the P-Rage football program. Jeff Williams is with us here on Ruskin and Zach. Coach, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you guys? We're, we're doing good. We appreciate the uh, time today. So so walk us through the decision to leave somewhere you've been for or a long time in Fort Smith Southside to make the move to uh, a P Ridge program that's been pretty successful the last few years. Well, you know, I've you know, I've kind of kept an eye on that place for a while, you know. I I'm, I keep up with uh, a lot of high school football and you just watch P Ridge over the you know, the last couple of years just how the community's grown and and how successful the football program's been. And, you know, I've been here at Southside for 15 years and, you know, had a lot of great times, a lot of great memories and great players and great coaches I worked with. And, you know, it wasn't an easy decision just because, you know, there's a lot of great people here in Fort Smith that, you know, I've been a part of for a long time. But, you know, when, when you're in this profession and you get up there and you start talking to the people, administration, look around. And, and the one thing I did when I got up there was, you know, I went around the community. You know, you went to Sonic and got a Coke, and and you can you could get a feel how tight that community was, and it just felt right. It felt like a, you know, it'd be a great challenge for me. Uh, you know, I'm looking, I'm always looking for a challenge, and and uh, you know, they're moving from four A to five A, and I I thought it would just be a great situation for me and my family. You obviously you followed followed a legend at uh, Southside. Now you're coming up to a program that's had a, a nice run here. Tony Travis got it started, then Stephen Neal. What, how is that? Uh, I guess your entrance into Southside and keeping that thing going. How's that going to prepare you for uh, your time now with the Blackhawks and keep that thing rolling? Well, you know, I've, I've actually here where I've ever gone. I took over for Scooter Register at El Dorado, who's you know a <laughs> Hall of Fame coach, and then obviously. Uh, uh, here at Southside with, with Coach Lunny. And, you know, I just go in and be yourself. You know, I'm, I'm going to be Jeff Williams, and, and I think that's the best way to do it. You don't try to be somebody else, somebody else. But, you know, you got to look at what they're doing right now. They're being they're very very successful, kind of keep some of the core things that they're doing, bring some new ideas to the, to the program, and hopefully we can keep it successful. We're talking with Jeff Williams, the new coach at uh, P. Ridge here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. Yeah, I mean, it just outside looking in, um, it just looks like that's a that's a, a athletic program in a school district that's that's got a, a lot going for it right now up there at P. Ridge. It really does. You know, they've been really good basketball and track, and you know, I called around some 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 guys I know, and they you know just really w- w- raved about the the athletic program, how the administration and the town's backing it, and you know, I did not get one negative feedback about P. Ridge, and obviously when you get up there and see it, and you know, I'm really looking forward to meeting the kids. And, and actually, you know, here in the last couple of years, we've done some team camps with P. Ridge in different situations and in different areas. And, you know, one thing I'm really impressed about just the, the toughness and how hard they played. I've got to watch them on film a little bit uh, here the last couple of days. And, uh, you know, it's uh, you can just tell that they've you know been very well coached and that they just got a, a tough, tough group. And, you know, I'm looking forward to – spending time with them and maybe we can take this thing to another level so how how is what's your approach now that for yeah. at least the first for the next few weeks or maybe longer you can't you can't meet with anybody i mean you can do the like yeah. the zoom thing but you can't you can't get together with, with your new team yet yeah you can't meet and that's that's the weird part i mean I, and everybody's going through this you know i talked to a lot of coaches throughout the state and you know from the uh from west memphis to warren arkansas to in Northwest Arkansas and Central Arkansas, and everybody's going through the same thing, and everybody's in in the, in the same situation. And so we're gonna go up and meet the coaches, and and you know, kind of see what what they've been doing, and then you know, try to set up some Zoom meetings and and get familiar with the kids, and you know, where we need to put them, and and things to make us successful for this this coming year. And hopefully, you know, we can get started here pretty soon and you know i'm hearing rumors here or there but uh you know until somebody gives us the definite you know we're just on wait on hold i think on the surface people are going to see you know going from south side to p ridge is kind of a head scratcher you're going from the seven to to the five but what what was it about p ridge and and the allure to to maybe jump into the challenge i don't have to remind you it's been a long time since a team north of in northwest arkansas has won a state title in 4a or 5a 
Well, I, I tell you what, you know, I, I grew up in a town that like that. You know, my dad was a coach for 40 years. He spent 32 years at Pocahontas and, and grew up in a community like that. And, and kind of be honest with you, I've always envisioned myself coaching in a community like that. But it's just fortunate for me. I've been, you know, in, in larger, larger schools. But the, the attraction to one school, one town, one heartbeat, one community uh, was very attractive to me. And, uh, you know, like I said, we want to put something to put a good product on the field and and try to make a run it run at it and you know i've been to coached in four state championship games and, and won one and so i kind of have a kind of know how to get there and hopefully we can uh you know we'll put put a good product on the field and it's you know five a's a really tough league you look at you know central arkansas dominance with the Pulaski county i mean Pulaski academy and little rock Christian here the last couple of years and in the conference that we're in it's a it's a very very tough league inside and out I mean there's some lot of great coaches you know obviously Rusty Bush who's a guy that worked for me at El Dorado starting at Elm and then Cody McNabb and you know Mike Adams there's a lot of great great coaches in, in that league and it should be a very exciting league this year a lot of um, through this whole C19 pandemic we we focus mostly on the professional and the college sports and, and maybe by you know just by being distracted we've sort of forgotten that that this has a trickle down effect to you guys and and the, the the lower grades youth football and youth sports and all that sort of thing are you concerned at all about whether or not you guys can you know turn this thing loose on August the 1st and just go practice if they let you or are you look are you guys starting to make plans for maybe a truncated season you know a later start or anything like that well I, I've done this we we sat down I know right before I took the P Ridge job with our the Southside staff before Southside staff was you know kind of had a plan okay if we get them back in June this is what we need to do if we get them back in July this is what we need to do if we get them back in August 1st this is what mm-hmm. we need to do and then if we don't get them back to the middle of August, this is what we need to do. And so I think you got to have a plan. And and I think, you know, coaches are big planners. You know, I'm an uh, organized guy. And, you know, you, you kind of get your yearly plan. Then you get a monthly plan, a weekly plan, and then a daily plan. And so we're all big planners. It's about to drive everybody crazy. But, <laughs> you know, the number one thing is just to, just to be safe. I mean, the worst thing can happen is come back too early, obviously. And, you know, this, this epidemic, you know, spikes back up and we're back to ground zero we did not want that you know i've talked to some guys from triple a and in some you know different groups with the arkansas football coaches coaches association and that's the main thing is is you know keeping our players safe our coaches safe and everybody in our community safe but you know if we rush into it too early and it spikes up we're going to be back to square one and that's absolutely what we do not want to do but I know the powers to be they're going to make the right decision for for us and and we'll, we'll just fall through protocol we're talking with jeff williams the new uh, coach at uh, p ridge with us here on ruskin and zach uh, you know it, it's interesting to hear um so many different people across sports and in, in high school sports as well who've done this a long time and you've probably uh prepared for a lot of different things but there's not a plan for everybody go home and by the way we don't know when you can come back just yet but just kind of hurry up and wait i guess yeah, I mean it's it's uh, kind of been mind-boggling. I mean, I, I never would have thought it would it would get to this. You know, you heard rumors and think you know this would never happen, but it is. And like I said, everybody's in the same boat. And uh, you know, the frustration. I think get more frustration with the kids because you know they're they're probably sick of being at home and and you know want to get out and practice, want to get out and lift weights. And, and a lot of these guys are you know are being able to do it a little bit on their own. But you know, it's nothing like being in, in, a, in a team atmosphere. And you know you build your team through the off season. I mean that's that's a you know through you know January, February, March, April, May. Then May you hit spring ball. Then obviously you did all your summer stuff. But you know everybody's in the same situation. And the best thing you can do is prepare. I mean and just kind of roll your sleeves up and go to work when it, when they'll let us loose. Now, I don't have to tell you this, but you've been to P Ridge. The best pregame meal that you can have <laughs> is a P Ridge Blackhawk burger. I need to prepare you ahead of time. I've gained a few pounds with the Blackhawk burger. If you're not in shape, stay away from it because you will not. You can't just eat one. You'll eat two or three or four. Well, I tell you what, I like to eat, and this this virus has killed me. Uh, you know, just not being as active. I, I try to jog a little bit, but I put on a few pounds. So. But I'm looking forward to that. My my favorite favorite meal is a cheeseburger. All right. What do you have on your cheeseburger, Coach? 
I'm a plain guy. Uh, I like just just mayonnaise and cheese and pickle only. That's what I always get, and uh, uh, it's, I've, I've done that since I was five years old. So I've just kind of stuck <laughs> with it. I'm not a guy with much change as far as when it comes to food. <laughs> Jeff Williams is our guest here, uh, the new head coach at P Ridge, uh, coming up to uh, Northwest Arkansas from uh, Fort Smith Southside. Um, coach, well, uh, we appreciate the time today. Uh, good luck with the uh, transition. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. All right. Jeff Williams and all our guests join us here on the Williams Tractor Hotline.